Hi, everybody. Yes, I know. The active shooter at YouTube today. I know. A female active shooter. Wounded three and then turned the gun on herself. You know, as I was watching some of these videos, and look, I, I'm, I, I don't know what to say. Um, <laughs> this insanity is simply just going to grow rapidly, exponentially. But watching these news clips, I thought to myself, well, at least we know that YouTube workers, there are people there. There are people there. They don't answer our phone calls. And we can't really get in touch with any of them. But they ran out of the building. So that's good to know that they're there. It's confirmed. And who knows? Maybe this woman got her channel terminated unjustly. Maybe she was tired of YouTube censoring the truth. Maybe she was tired of all of the censorship. Maybe I shouldn't even say that because, oh, maybe I'll have the FBI at my house. I heard you say in a YouTube video that you were thinking that maybe the shooter got her channel terminated. And we looked through oh, all of that data that is collected on you, and we see that your channel was terminated. Oh, and we watched some of your videos, and we see that you are upset about the censorship and YouTube not really favoring truth over that fake crap, but we just want to make sure that you are okay. We just want to make sure we're doing a wellness check on you. Oh, God. This country, man. It's really sad. Sad what is happening. Yes, female shooter wounds three, then kills herself. The latest on the shooting at YouTube. HQ headquarters. What, what, what do you say? What do you say? I mean, I don't know what to say. You know, <laughs> what we know about the YouTube shooting. It began at 12.46 p.m. local time. The San Bruno Police Department received numerous 911 calls reporting gunfire at YouTube's headquarters. YouTube employees also began tweeting. They began tweeting. How come you didn't put it live on YouTube? For everybody who is a real victim of these shootings, my heart goes out to you. Um, I don't want to sound like I have no compassion. I am a little fed up. I don't necessarily feel desensitized. I just feel like I wish that our fellow Americans would wake up, you know, kind of take life seriously and take what is happening in this country seriously and, I don't know, grow up and become responsible adults, get active in their community and, and reverse this very dark tide that has been coming in and further in and further, further. Well, now we're getting swallowed up in it. We're drowning in it. And that's just not going to happen. So I guess I'm just, I don't know. What do you do? What do you do? When people want to remain just you know those well adjusted to a deeply disturbed society which means that they are deeply disturbed and they don't do a thing to try to come out of that disturbance the disturbance becomes more intense wider greater 
And we all do get swallowed up in it. That's why I get a little angry at times at our fellow Americans who simply just don't care about anything but their own lives, their own little lives. That's it. That's it. That, uh, you know, you're just crazy. You're a conspiracy theorist. And leave me alone. I want to live in Disneyland. Okay. But that kind of behavior, the ripple effect, means we all have to live in a reality that is really very deranged and violent. And utterly insane. Who is the shooter? Police said the shooter was using a handgun. Oh, get rid of the handguns now. Those assault weapons, those military style weapons, those uh, automatic weapons, get rid of them. Get rid of, oh, a handgun shooter. Oh, get rid of those. It's such insane thinking. And insane thinking brings about a whole lot of insanity. So we don't know anything about the shooter. I don't know. You know, I'm not going to dig too deeply into it. Uh, there's an awful lot of people who, who do. So that's it.